Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Rush to Max, where guys, we got 13 days left until this Inferno, Giga Inferno, is done. Uh, going level 4. So what could we possibly be up to today? Well, I've got some exciting things. You could probably already tell on the screen what's going on. Laboratories also, we got tons of time for that, so not even going to think about that. What we're going to do is we're going to be able to use two builders. So that's always exciting. But even more exciting... CWL. Okay, so I've got my CWL. I've got my my first ever Lunian army. Okay, I decided to go ahead and train it uh, or cook it up. Here is the army composition that I'm going to be using. Remember, my army camps are maxed out. I haven't upgraded all these things to max in my laboratory. Uh, it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> but fortunately, our opponents uh, maybe aren't so hard, or so uh, so difficult to take on. But here's what I've got. I've got 45 balloons and I've got 20 minions. All right. I've got four haste spells. I've got two rage spells, a poison and earthquake and a freeze. Uh, just kind of being trying to be prepared for every opportunity or every uh, possibility. All right. Uh, I've got seven minutes and 50 something seconds until my grand or uh, my uh, royal champion is ready to go. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out. I'm going to use this army. I got to use my CC. I'm going to use my wall breaker because I'm going to be bringing a different siege machine and a different C uh, climb castle. Balloons, obviously. So, uh, so yeah, let's go use up the army, and then we're going to be doing my very first CWL that I've ever done. My first war attack, actually, that I've ever done on this account. Uh, I've been playing a long time. I've done no war. I got, <laughs> I got a direct message from a clan mate. My co-leaders, actually, they said, or he said, hey, yo, uh, bro, what's up? What's up? And I said, what's up, homie? And he said, yo, hey. Uh, I want to put your account in, in the war. You actually got some decent level balloons. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, I'm not so good. And he said, well, it's just going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And I, I was sold after that. He's convincing. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. So I'm going to be doing my very first CWL attack, my very first war attack on this account live in today's video. Uh, the only hang-up may be waiting for Clan Castle troops. I don't know how quickly that'll happen. <laughs> Uh, but besides that, all I have to do is find a decent base to bark. Now, I've actually had a hard time finding loot this past couple of days. I tried to film a, a, several videos, and I feel like I sit here and I search for a very long time. So as I wait, guys, do not forget to like, subscribe, join the class family for daily gaming videos. Uh, turn on, uh, ring, uh, ring the bell for notifications. Yes, and don't forget to use code Klaus. There we go. That's the last thing that I usually forget to say. All right, so I'm going to attack this base because I'm tired of waiting. It's got a decent amount of elixir, so let's go. Also, it has nice pink and purple walls, which makes me excited because uh, barbarians don't have a real hard time with those walls if they have to get through them. So that's great. Also, I need to use my wall breaker. Wall wrecker, sorry. So let's go um, straight in from the bottom. And I can't use my heroes because I've got to have my heroes for the CWL attack. So what I'm hoping, honestly, I might just do it on purpose is I'm hoping that my wall wrecker doesn't make through this wall. I'm, I'm hoping that the wall wrecker takes out both of these storages. Ooh, and there's a tornado trap. That's the worst. Okay, poison, heal, rage, and pop that wall wrecker. There we go. The Valkyries will pop out. I have no idea what level they are. I'm sure they're decent. And they're going to grab some elixir. They're going to grab some gold. And uh, yeah, we're looking good. Okay, so that was a one star. Not too shabby. I got a little bit of a loot. Uh, is there anything I can grab maybe for free here? I could probably pop my queen's ability and grab something. Um, not really, uh, no easy targets anyway. I'm gonna get this gold storage. I mean, why not? Pop the Queen's ability. I've got no Warden's ability, so I don't really trust it. So before the, uh, Eagle Shot comes down, I'm gonna get out of there. So, a decent amount of, a little bit of Elixir. Not too shabby. Not too great, though. <laughs> gonna be honest with you. So let's go and request. Um, I'm going to request for balloons. And I'm also going to request for a Battle Blimp, Okay. That is good. I'm not going to request for max level. I'm just going to hope and pray that my clan mates do that for me. Also, I have to get rid of these heal spells because I don't use heal with Looney and I use rage spells and all the like. So, uh, while we're waiting on that, guys, and it, there's no telling. I might have to stop and, and wait for a while before I get CC troops. I have to have them, though, for the CWL attack. Don't attack in CWL without your clan mates CC troops. Just don't do it. Just be patient, okay? You're doing yourself an injustice, and you're ruining it for your clan mates. That they give it all your their effort, right? They get in there, they give it all they've got. They get a three star, and then you fail because you're impatient. Don't do that to your clan mates, okay? Jeez, I can't believe you did that. I'm just kidding. I'm, I don't I don't know what you did. Just don't do it, okay? Anyway, so um, let's go do a CW or a um, builder base attack. I've been really rocking it with these archers. Been really enjoying it. So let's go. One, two, three. There's definitely some. 
easy access uh, defenses out here. So go ahead and start uh, wiping all these out. There they go. Okay. So now we're going to crush her. I'm just going to kind of slowly, with patience, take out this crusher. We're going to take out this cannon. And now it comes down to this Archer Tower. If we could take out the Archer Tower, and I don't think there's a Tesla because I think it would have popped by now. But if we could take out this Archer Tower, then we are in business. Okay? We're in we're big business. So, it's all about this crusher. There you go. All right. Uh, oh, there's a Tesla. Dang it. No, it's not going to happen. I really thought, okay, I didn't think that the Tesla would be over there. Kind of a weird spot for it. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. All right. Well, we got a one star. Not too bad. Not too great. I, uh, hopefully I still won. I doubt it though, but we'll see. Oh, wow. They're still attacking. Let's see how they're doing. Okay. Uh, so they're not going to get the town hall either. Looks like they're doing a very, very similar attack to what I did. In fact, they fell just short. Look at that. I barely got the 50%. They didn't get the 50%. So I won. I don't feel like I deserved it, but I won. I'll take it. I just don't feel like I deserve it. <laughs> Can I do any upgrades, by the way? Ooh, the clock tower. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's upgrade the clock tower. That's perfect. Also, if I go over to the star lab, I need to upgrade that too. I need the elixir. But um, I can't upgrade the baby dragons again. I've got them to level two. I can't upgrade them again until I upgrade my star laboratory. So got to work on that. So uh, besides that, I think that is it, guys. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait until I get my CC troops. Plus, I've got two minutes left until the uh, royal champion is done. And then we're going to do a CWL raid. And honestly, I'm nervous, but I'm also very excited. I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right. I don't know who donated, but uh, I got some balloons. Two of them are max level and two of them are level seven, which is pretty good. So I'm stoked about that. Also, welcome back, Royal Champion Level 2 Beast. It's time to do some CWL raid now. So let's first uh, switch to... Uh, air for the Grand Warden. That doesn't make a big difference because the Grand Warden's only level two. But, you know, better than not doing it at all. So here is the problem. Okay, here's a problem. I am number 14 in the, in the roster here. And so number 14, if I was attacking a mirror, is uh, is number 14. So, and, and this one is a Town Hall 10. Now, I actually am not sure I'm, if I'm going to build a three-star this because my troops are not that good so i'm just going to stick with the mirror rule a lot of the times clans just kind of default to this where it's like hey if you're number 13 hit number 13 if you're number one hit number one if you're number 32 hit number 32 you know what i'm saying so uh we don't do that but in my case i'm going to because <laughs> i don't think it's gonna go that well so uh yeah let's try this out i'm just gonna actually i should probably call it i don't want somebody to get confused in that moment where um you know i accidentally you know, call something or don't call something and then they try to attack or whatever. So, uh, also, I mean, you know, there's a couple like town on 12s and stuff. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to go, honestly. Uh, <laughs> if I three star this though, I'll be surprised. I will be because again, I have not used Lunian before on this account. Uh, the, the balloons and stuff are not that strong. The minions are certainly not that strong and my spells are really kind of not so good. So this is just a, janky situation and i'm gonna try my best to represent my clan mates okay <laughs> it's for the clan mates as long as they two star that's what's most important to me so actually that reminds me i think i'm going to attack from the top not the bottom i was gonna attack from the bottom but then i run the risk of not getting to the town hall that would be a bad thing at least if i go from the top i'm likely to get two stars not just one so let's attack from the top also i could use a could use a wall wreck, uh, a wall wrecker, and then give my heroes a way to get into the base. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just try what happens. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Oh my gosh! All right, guys. Uh, let's do this. First things first. Balloons down the line. There you go. We're gonna also send in a. Uh, Battle blimp. Let's get the minions in with the warden. I'm going to drop a couple of hay spells. We're going to blast through here. I'm going to rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to poison and I'm going to freeze. I'm also going to uh, quake over the town hall. Let's haste and haste. I've got one more rage spell. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, let's rage off the back end there too. There we go. So we got uh, most of the defenses. The issue though is that nothing wanted to target the town hall. 
So I've got to figure out a way to get troops. Here, let's get the, the royal champion in there to start working on some defenses. Um, the problem is that I definitely need to get some troops to go in toward the town hall. Because we did a great job with all the defenses. Um, so, ooh, go minions! Yeah, yeah, go minions! That's awesome. Ooh, and then we have a balloon. That's not good. Okay, so here's what we have to do here, guys. Um, we're not, we probably won't three-star this now. But what I would love to do is get, man, get my king to go toward this town hall. Can I do that? Oh, he's gonna go all the way over there? No! Okay, maybe the queen will. Oh, the queen can go right to the town hall! Look at this! Look at that! Okay, okay, queen, do not get distracted. Look at that. Look at that queen. Look at that queen. Look at that queen. Watch this. Boom. Queen's ability. So you're going to get rid of the enemy queen. There you go. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Enemy. Oh, no. Look how much health she had. Ah. <laughs> and this, kids, is why you don't rush. All right. <laughs> I can't believe I just one starred, man. If my queen was stronger, that wouldn't have happened. If my queen was stronger, I would have easily taken out that town hall. And if I wasn't rushing, I would have had like a level 65 queen, so that wouldn't have been an issue. Man, I can't believe I just got a one-star CWL. Again, this is why you don't rush. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, so for the next few months, right? Because, I mean, we're almost done with that town hall. We're almost to the point where we can start unrushing the base. Uh, we're going to see a serious increase in the strength of our offense, and that's going to be a big deal. I'm excited about focusing on that. Um, for now, I should probably avoid going into attacks, like war attack and, uh, attacks and stuff, because if I can't depend on my... I should have probably had a wall wrecker. Should have probably taken a wall wrecker. Because if I had taken a wall wrecker, I could have gotten my king and my queen on the town hall, and then we would have gotten it down. Man, I can't believe I failed my clan like that, bro. I mean... I think we're going to be okay, and here's why. Because number 15 on our, our side is a tunnel 13, although it's a lower <laughs> weight than me. Um, and then, they're, But their number 15 is a tunnel 10. So I doubt that they're going to be able to do better than we are, so we're probably still going to win. But I just feel bad for letting down my clan. I really do. I feel bad. Yeah, okay. Well, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> We're going to put that behind us. We're not going to talk about that. Okay, that didn't happen. Um, but what we are going to talk about, guys, is a couple of key upgrades. Now, I don't have a lot of loot. I do have a little bit in my treasury, so I can go and collect that just to get us there. Let's go into my progress base, and let's talk about the storage upgrade. So I've got just enough gold to do the next elixir storage. Okay, I've got two left. Just enough gold to do one of them. I say we do it without thinking much about it, okay? Let's do it. Nine day upgrade, 45, no, 4.5 million gold in three, two, one, bam. Done, all right, let's move Let's move this thing across, okay? It's done. Uh, next thing, okay, so next thing. Uh, I'm gonna move this across, move this over and cross that, and that's nice and clean now. So, uh, I don't have a lot of loot left, I really don't. I've got maybe, uh, you know, I can maybe like upgrade a barracks or something, or maybe some drills or storage, but I can't upgrade something like the Dark Elixir storage. I mean, that's a lot of elixir. But what if I wanted to upgrade this storage? What if I wanted to just be done with storages? What if that's what I wanted to do? Well, it wouldn't be that hard. I've got a few metals, I could do it. But, I can't, I just can't bring myself to do that. So instead, hold on a second, I think, do I have any extra loot somewhere? I don't have any extra loot somewhere. Um, I have practice. Okay, so let's do a practice round. Let's get me to five, let's see, can we do a half million? Yeah, let's do electro surgery. 500,000 elixir. I'm just gonna follow what this thing says to do, okay? And uh, I'm gonna get myself to where I can upgrade the Grand Warden once again. Yes, the Grand Warden, super clutch, super useful. <laughs> Uh, disappointing when you can't use the Warden's Eternal Tome, which would have made the difference in that Lunian rate. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna focus a little bit on the Warden. Um, so, I don't even know what to say at this point. I mean, it's just a practice round, but, uh, it's teaching us how to use Electro Dragons, which is something that I never use, like, ever. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun, though. It'd be kind of fun to spam some Electro Dragons. Alright, so, bl uh, Blimp, get in there, buddy. I don't know. Queen's ability, keep her alive. Yeah, everything's straightforward so far. Rage spell, definitely want to keep... Uh... Ooh, couple clones. I see. There's probably... I'm going to activate the battle blimp right in the middle. And the balloons are being 
cloned like crazy. That is, uh, that's what's called an electron, right? So, um, we didn't get the town hall down, but we sure did take a large chunk out of the base. That was pretty awesome. So now, oh my gosh. It's gonna get all these E-Drags in here. Didn't get the right spread though, I'm a little concerned. Let's get this warden, oh never mind. The chain lightning helps with that. Uh, a few balloons, I would've put the balloons down first, personally, just to kind of watch out for seeking air mines and such. King over here is gonna start a funnel. But I'm pretty sure at this point it's gonna be, use what you got left to three star the base. You know, that's that's usually what these practice rounds end up doing. Yeah, there's a rage. Warden's ability? Interesting. King's ability, keep him alive. This is a lot more in depth than I'm used to. <laughs> Usually, there we go. Use the remaining spells to help with the cleanup. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's rage this up and let's haste the balloon up real quick. Come on, get through that cannon. Get through the cannon. We want to focus. Yeah, there we go. Now the E-Drag can focus on the air targeting defenses down here instead. And the rage spell working out perfect to, uh, to cover this backside of these defenses. So that works out. Not too shabby. All right, guys. So that was the 500,000 elixir that I needed to upgrade this warden once again. Uh, I can't. I still can't believe I got a one star in that that war attack, man. That was that was so sad. Should have had a backup plan. See, I used to actually bring wall breakers with my lunian. Everyone always make fun of me. They're like, "Why are you bringing wall breakers with your lunian? You know your lunian's an air attack." And I'm like, "Yo, yeah, but the king and the queen are ground troops. Yo, what if I need to break them into a key spot?" So I might want to do that. In fact, I might suggest it. Bring five wall breakers, take out two balloons, and um, you'll be you'll be great. So anyway, got the loot. Let's upgrade this Grand Warden. Three million elixir, a single day upgrade. I like these short upgrades. In three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right, so what are we at now, guys? Uh, we got uh, one day for the Grand Warden. We have two days for one of the Elixir Storages, and then four days, and then nine days. On the other side, we get a Giga Inferno for 13 days. So, uh, yeah, guys, making fast progress. I think that this proved to me <laughs> that I'm not quite ready for war. I mean, if I couldn't three-star a Town Hall 10, then, and I'm a Town Hall 13, that means I'm having some issues. Now, once this... Um, Barbarian is done. I may end up getting to upgrade my balloons. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but We're a little ways away still. We're still we're working on it. It's slow, but it's worth it, right? So anyway guys, that's gonna do it for me today in this episode of rest of max Thank you all so much for tuning in like this video if you liked it And if you enjoyed seeing some more content if you want to see war content on this channel, please let me know uh, or not on this channel, but on this series specifically. Let me know in the comments of today's video. I'll check all comments, so definitely uh, definitely do that, okay? Um, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and do not forget to use code Klaus for any in-game purchases. It helps the channel out, helps me bring content to you guys. Just make sure and check in your shop, look for Little White Sea, because it always expires after you put the code in, seven days later. So always put the code back in using the link in the description that I've provided for you, or do it manually in the settings. And don't forget that it actually works in every single Supercell game, not just Clash of Clans. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.